What's up, everyone? Merry Christmas to you all, and welcome to a very special edition of Collider Dailies. Almost Woo! everyone is here. Woo! Almost everyone is here. I'm here. <laughs> of course, we have John and Maggie, who you know very well, in front of the camera as our Collider Dailies host. Adam is here. Adam, who in the future will be the voice of God more. You will see and hear Adam's presence more in the new year, right? Yes. He had his first cameo this week where I got to say, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> it's very appropriate. And it turns out I was. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Lara, who is our A+. plus social media wizard. If you ever see anything Collider Daily is associated on one of the Collider's social accounts, it's because she is absolutely vital to promoting the show and getting it out there and making sure you know when to tune in live every single day. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you guys for having me. Happy to be I'm so here. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited I'm about good. this. So what we're doing today is we are doing a white elephant gift exchange virtually. So there's there's going to be a lot of, of silly stuff that's going to happen as we try to work this out. But the first order of business with any white elephant gift exchange is to come up with our order. So nobody can see this. I'm looking at it right now. I have all five of our names in like a, an internet list randomizer. And I'm going to I'm going to press randomize right now. Okay. Oh, I fucking win. I cursed already. Number one is Adam. Number two is Lara. Number three is John. Number four is Maggie. And number five is me. Well, lucky I'm kind you. of excited about that. I'm kind of excited about that. Not gonna if there's ever an opportunity to like draw a crappy lotto number or or like pick the wrong card, usually I pick it. <laughs> Now I got I got to ask though there a little bit of rules clarification. Uh, sometimes it is played with white elephant that the person who goes first because they obviously don't get to steal anything when the rounds are over. Sometimes the person who goes first gets to decide if they want to swap. Are we going to play by that rule? <laughs> what is going on? has something to say about this. Um, I'm perfectly fine with either rule. Do we want to like take a vote or something? All in favor of letting Adam steal, <laughs> say I. Yeah, I'm cool I, with it. I. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, so we yeah, get to, when, we get to when everybody's gone through, Adam. you just yeah. get to decide if you want to switch out your gift okay. with somebody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, I still barely understand this game. <laughs> right now, all you got to know is just pick pick somebody's present. Ask, like, ask if you can, like, see it, hear it. Like, they'll squeeze it. Like, any sort of okay. auditory or visual thing that you need Are to decide like which present you want to open. Twist mm. it, punch it, you I know. Mean, it's yeah, not, with, not a bad mentality. I feel like all four of us should hold up our gifts. So Adam knows what he. You don't have to do that yet, Adam. You're the. You're well, I'm the just gift showing off. You're the, you're the gift. <laughs> I don't know. I think the, the rotating clatter in the background shows it off enough. <laughs> Those all look so nice, uh, John. Glorious. So, so I get to tell you guys what to do with them now. Yeah. <laughs> you get okay. to pick one. You get okay. one, and then you tell that person to do things. Okay, John, I want you to hold your, your gift like sort of like this and hand on top. And now press down as it much as you can. ain't compressing any, bro. Okay, okay. So now I know, you know, it's not just a bag for a bag. It's about, it's about two John heads sized. Holy that smokes. That, that's large. Yeah. What are, you, what are you saying about my noggin? <laughs> oh, so much knowledge. That's just rude. <laughs> All right. So, Adam. okay, that's 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 very good. Uh, do I pick another now? <laughs> you, you can. You, if you want, you could pick. You could pick whatever you want. You could ask somebody okay. else to like yeah. hold theirs up, like gauge the okay. weight. I don't know. So. Perry, I'm assuming that's iron claw wrapping paper. Oh, that it is. 
Can okay. you look at this wow. wonderful A24 wrapping paper? I love it. It's yeah. very I'm, cool. I'm a big fan too. Can you just do me a favor and hold it right up to the microphone and shake it? Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Nothing moves. All right. Wow. That gives me some ideas. No ASMR there. No. <laughs> no. Bummer. That was like the worst oh. ASMR in the yeah. history of ASMR. <laughs> Uh, Maggie. Yes. Can I get you to hold yours up, please? Okay. Now you've been holding it up like that a lot. Can you hold it horizontally <laughs> and flip it? Okay. Like this. So it's yeah. <laughs> you re there we go. Okay. Okay. So that okay. That gives me some ideas. That's an okay. A plus wrapping job. Yeah, very, very well impressed. Done. Yeah, you guys have all done a very good job. And now for the final. No, I have present. not, Adam. Do not lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> I chose a bag for a reason. I mean, honestly, mine's mine's a little messy looking too. <laughs> and now let's see that final present again, because that was green wrapping paper, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes. Ooh, and the bow. Wow. Hello, oh. ASMR for you. <laughs> okay, I think I know exactly what it is now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what, what do I do next? So now, now you pick the gift you want. Oh, okay. So you okay. pick what you want, but without knowing what's inside. So you have to like use what you just learned to pick mm. the gift you think is best. Okay. Again, this is, this is just going by everything I think I've figured out about this game so far. Mm. Maybe you so I'm going to play like, it strategically. As people and like judge us, you know. Fair point. Fair point. I think I'm going to play strategically. Mm. Smart. And I'm going to ask John to please reveal your present. This glorious thing. All right, <laughs> please reveal it now. We'll just. Is that not what happens? <laughs> yeah, because people got to know. Yeah. Oh, know what they're cool. feeling. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I'll just I'll just do some of that. I'll pull pull that out. Holy smokes! Hmm. This is a model kit of the USS Excelsior uh, NX two thousand from Star oh Trek. My God. Oh wow! Nice. I'm just gonna say this seems like a gift that might be stolen by Maggie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I kind of assumed. <laughs> I was about to say, I think I think my internet connection is getting a little bad, so maybe the game should end now and I just get this present. You get you get the last steal. We've we've made it official. Yeah. You could okay. steal it back right. if it happens. All That's, right. That is very nice. So gift picker number two, Lowry, you're up. Yes, so I am a child, so I already know which gift I want, and it's the spinning gift. <laughs> and, um, okay. So you just mean, like me to open it? Do you have to reveal it, or can I just keep it as it is? You got to oh, no, reveal yeah. it. <laughs> you, you just want a wrapped box on a spinning platter. You don't even want it inside. I, I just like it. Well, I just like the way it looks. Here's, here's the challenge, yes, Adam. Please, Adam, reveal my gift. Thank you. Here's the challenge, though. You need to open it while it's still spinning. While yes. it's still spinning. All right. Yeah. Because, I mean, if, if you're going to have a spinning platter, you got to like use it. a pair of socks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have to – this is like interstellar. I have to like you don't, lock. You don't have to actually. I'm just teasing you. But <laughs> All right. I'm going to take like it off. All I'm right. Excited. So here's just a little ASMR. Okay. Love it. <laughs> so first off, I'd like to point out that this wrapping paper is reversible. Oh, which is so cool. <laughs> and uh, in my family, we like, like to reuse wrapping paper. So usually we're very gentle about opening it and stuff. But, uh, oh, reuse, recycle. what's this? Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, there's got to be something in there, right? That's not just Dr. Pepper. It is Christmas I'm, after I'm, all. Oh. Although, Dr. Pepper would be a refreshing Christmas drink. <laughs> Okay. That was free. Oh, oh wow. Is it a I mean <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a just a regular old toque. 
Okay. You know, walking around in Canada, you need one of these, but that's not the present. <laughs> it's a sewing tin. I only got this. A nice little tin. I feel like there's something inside the box. Okay, and in this tin, we have... Adam is just the king of anticipation. This is... Is it a memory card? This is a little bit of a diffuser oh. for perhaps a studio light. But again, not the gift. <laughs> what is playing this right? I went practical this year for presents. And because we're all working in a webcam medium, this is a lens cap for putting over your uh, webcam. <laughs> Yeah, so you can just like slide it over, <laughs> slide it back. Oh my god! Hey, can, can I, I just, have been bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, can I just say that the opening of that package reminded me of that children's horror story about in the dark, dark forest is a dark, dark, dark house, and the dark, dark house is a dark, dark room, and the dark, dark yeah. room is a dark, dark, dark closet, is a dark, dark box, and the dark, dark box is a ghost. <laughs> I don't know why you would think of that, Adam. <laughs> Adam, well played. Well yes. played. All right. Gift taker number three is John. So you have two You have two left. Oh, man. Do I want to steal the webcam lens cap? I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, you know what? Maggie, do me a favor. Shake that in front of the microphone a little bit. Huh. That's got, that's got, that's got some good sound to it. <laughs> Perry, go ahead and uh, go ahead and give yours a little bit of a squeeze. I mean, it's still not going to do ASMR things. Well, I was just trying to see if we we're going to compress it all. Uh, oh wow, that looks solid to me. Perry, go ahead and reveal yours. I don't know what Maggie's is for the record, but I'm just going to say you made the right choice. You made the right choice. <laughs> I mean, we'll see if I made the right choice. Because it might not stay with me. You made the right choice because you can. Clearly, I don't save wrapping paper. <laughs> you could. Ooh. Not, not, no, no. You're not going to learn about Oppenheimer, although oh. I will gift you this book if you want it as well. There's actually something else in here. In here is. A movie barcode but Ooh. I didn't select the barcode for you so John if you remain the winner of this gift you tell me what barcode you want and then I will send it to you a movie barcode is something that looks like this and it reflects a color of a single frame throughout your favorite movie I have one called a movie palette that I love movie mm. barcode is is another company that does it and they are very cool and this one is Wally that's oh, cool. That sounds awesome. That's so cool. Movie barcode. Very Love cool. It. Here for it. All right. So that that would that would mean Maggie is next up. Yes. <laughs> There's only like mine left. I know. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's like I keep my own package. <laughs> you actually <laughs> can. <Somebody's. laughs> ah. I Do you want the, now, the cool thing about this here. cool thing about this, Maggie, is it comes with decals for both the NX registration and the NCC registration. Oh, <laughs> oh I you am very, you're the only you person who would also get the Star Trek. I love how we're like selling our gifts now. You can get the Star Trek movie of I your don't choice. Want Adam, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would see. I'm going to say, I, I, as much as I like the idea of stealing the Star Trek ship, I am terrible at building models. So if it was already complete, I would like absolutely do it. But I have... For I age have 10 plus. <laughs> I, have, but I have ADHD, so I have lots okay. and lots of crafts that I've never actually completed. So I am going to steal from you, John, because I <laughs> want a okay. barcode image. And... Yes, so that's what I'm stealing. I have stolen from you. The first the barcode thing. has a new owner. Okay. <laughs> You're just okay. A so, jerk. So that that leaves that leaves me now, and I have the option to pick Maggie's, Lara's, or steal an existing gift 
Don't I have to get another gift first? You because swallow. I've been stolen from. Yeah. I think we, I think we played this wrong. <laughs> That's the way that my. I think, Ma- I think I think Maggie. Wait, did we play it wrong? No, we I haven't. No. The way the way that this works is when a, when a present is stolen from somebody, the person who was stolen from then selects either to steal a gift from somebody else or to open another gift. So yes. that at all times, let's anybody who that. is gone has a gift. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I love how uh, we're just like, John, you are the white too. elephant master. Yeah. And he can't steal yes. back the gift. I can't steal I back stole. from someone who just stole from no. me. No, okay. Uh, Laura, go ahead and open that up. Okay, so I like now green. that I have to open my gift, I have a confession to make. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I don't have my gift with me, but I have a picture of my gift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that. it is worth it is worth pointing out that uh, Laura was actually invited yesterday, so. <laughs> It does sort of make sense that it might not be here yet. Hey, I framed the picture. Okay, so. that is a, did I get the frame? It's light, light favorite chopsticks or shop oh, favorites, if you will. Okay, that's so that's cool. My guess. That's cool. I will have so. to. I will have to relearn how to use chopsticks. I you know. I Honestly, John, say. just go for the picture frame. It's pretty nice. So. <laughs> You so I'm the, I'm the last you. one wow. left. I can't steal that gift because I can't use chopsticks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I kind of can. I used to. I, I mean, you can you try decorate with them. I guess and have them so. on your shelf. <laughs> yeah, I think like the trick is this finger in particular. <laughs> you don't want the webcam cover. Yeah. Well, I I think because. Or Maggie's gift is so beautifully wrapped. <laughs> I need, I, like, I need to pick it also because I, like, I like the game of chance. As fun as it is to steal things, I'm like, like, I need to know what the surprise is. Yeah, yeah. The so political I'm answer. Pick Maggie's gift. Okay, so it it comes with a a, a lovely little lollipop, holiday lollipop with it. And <laughs> lollipop it's just, is also a good sell. Technically, <laughs> three things inside of this. We unwrap this. As you can see, we do also save wrapping paper. Um, <laughs> My wrapping paper is like shredded right now. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> so it I is. Mean, mine is just tissue paper, so it's not. You know. <laughs> Funko Pop. Well, well, well. Oh, wow. Funko Pop trio. <laughs> A trio of Funko Pops. And who oh. are they? They yeah, are. I can't- Aquarius, Hyoga, Noella, Valkyrie Armor, and Virgo Shun from Saint Cena, which hey, is hey. animated anime. Yes, and know. they're very badass looking. I need more also- anime in my life, and I feel like everybody needs a Funko Pop wall. And my yeah. my wall is a little short right now, so that that could be perfect. There now, you go. Here's, here's the question, though: those of you who have Funko Pop, do you take them out of the package or do you leave them in? I take mine out of the package, but I keep all of the packaging in boxes so that I can put them back in it if I ever need to like move them around or swap things out because I've swapped Funkos out over the years. I've also heard about the strategy of buying two Funko Pops at a time. So you can have one in the box and one out. I'm not that crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Respect to anyone who does that, but I can't have duplicates of Funko Pops. Otherwise, there will be no room for me in my apartment. I keep them in the box because sometimes when you take certain ones out of the box, they flop over and that annoys me. Ah, I I will say... Smart. I will say, and this is a shout out to anyone watching this episode. If you can help me out with this search, I am looking for one specific Funko Pop. It's the only one that I feel like I absolutely need. And that is, it is Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. I cannot find it for reasonable prices. It's like absurdly expensive everywhere I look. So if you Why know does this sound so it, familiar to me? Did you tell me I, this at Fantastic Fest or something? <laughs> I gush about my love for Murder, She Wrote, I'm sure. I feel like this should have been a more I'm, shocking thing for you to announce that specific want, but I'm like, no, that's, that's right. No, yeah, that, that track. John, John is, is, a, is, a, is a old woman. He likes Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> so, so, John, just to clarify, 
Yes. These are out there. People do have them. Yes. They're just like prohibitively expensive. Yeah, think, no, it, it, it is a, a properly produced pop. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I've seen it in person once, but it was like, like admittedly, it, I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks. So that might not oh, seem like well. too mm, prohibitively expensive to some people, but that's way more than I feel spending on a pop figure personally. <laughs> yeah. As somebody who's not a big collector, that's just, so there's a limit. <laughs> All right. So, so by John rules, the last step in this exchange is to circle back to Adam. And now oh, no. Adam, Adam, like you got, you've got full control. You could steal anyone's gift you want. You can exchange this with anybody's present. Yikes. Cool or you can get the hot <sighs> Okay. Let's see. I mean, I got this. <laughs> Well, I got that's, the, going, that's going to allow her regardless. <laughs> you, I'm not feel it from. <laughs> I see. I'm not. I'm. I am not much of a Funko Pop guy, so I think I can sort of eliminate that. Fine. I like the chopstick idea, but the yeah. last time a friend of mine gave me chopsticks, it like it gave me like food poisoning for like a week. <laughs> Like whatever, like I, I guess it wasn't washed properly chopsticks. or whatever. Not yeah, merch Laura's gift to us. That's no, it. no, I just, it's, it's it's a memory of mine that is coloring my decision. Okay, yeah. we're the That's and I I actually I have a Puzz 3D model of the Enterprise 1701D. Oh, Puzz that I got 3D. when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, this is a step That's up fun. from Lego, and. Uh, I never put it together, so John, I think I might have to have to pass on this one and go for the the uh, the barcode. The barcode. I like that a lot. Okay, yeah. so who, it was Maggie. You had the barcode. I did. Yeah. Okay, so you are now getting the starship. <laughs> I love how that ended up in your hands anyway. <laughs> it was meant to be. I know you said you're not good at putting things together, but I feel like like this is the gateway item. This will change everything. Here is yeah. here is what I will here's what I will do for you, Maggie. Will you uh, put it together? No, I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> what I will do, because I also want this, I will buy an identical one and one evening we will hop on a video call. And we'll walk through it together and build the Excelsior. Uh-huh. How about that? That's the cutest thing in the world. It's, sounds like a two for you guys. They walk me through it as part of the gift. There you go. You know, so it's nice. a it comes with, with a tutorial. on a video call with me outside of work. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Such a, such a wholesome end to this white elephant gift exchange. Everybody, jo- job very well done. To everybody in the comments, let's get let's get you guys to engage a little. If you could pick one of these five gifts, which one would you pick? Which one would you steal? Put it in the comment section below. And also, happy holidays to everyone. We'll be back happy with holidays. more content all throughout the week. So you will never be without a Collider Dailies episode any day into the new year and then beyond. Happy holidays, everyone. And we'll see you soon. That was lovely.